is to carry out Ms. Crow's wishes. She's a patriotic American who questions the ethics of the Equinox Corporation, not her country. All she wants is for her aunt's invention to be used for good, not just for profit. May we have your name again? Nicholas Cassadine. Mr. Cassadine, you are not a citizen of the United States. Is that not correct? I'm a Greek national. My problems with my resident alien status are due to an oversight on my part. Thought you could fly under the radar. No, not at all. I actually feel very much at home in this country. Perhaps I took that for granted. My mother is an American citizen. All I did was neglect to apply for the same privileges... We don't care about your immigration problems. We're here to determine if the U.S. government should intervene on the part of the Equinox Corporation to enable them to secure and use the patents for weapons manufacturing. And frankly, as a foreign national, you, your motives here are suspect. Bad thing they asked for a break. We'll soon find out. We've been conferring, and quite frankly, I still don't see why a foreign national should be able to decide the fate of a U.S. military weapon. Senators, I have nothing but respect for this country and the privileges that it's provided me. I make my home here, I pay my taxes here, I abide by its laws, and I think serving... Serving in the armed forces is one of the most honorable choices a person can make, but the companies that provide arms to those men and women are culpable themselves, and they should not be profiting off the soldier's sacrifice. And quite frankly, I, I just can't see why this weapon is essential to the victory of this country. It's only essential to the Equinox bottom line. Now, how do we know that uh, you won't take this patent and make your own fortune? By selling it on the international market to the highest bidder. Stop! You can't have your bacon and eat it too. Ah, uh, what I mean is, can I say something? Look, I don't, I don't know much about the politics of war. I hear about it on the news, just like everybody else. But I did have a boyfriend who fought in Iraq. He was a good and honest guy, and he was really proud to serve his country. Now, I want to believe that he had the best possible equipment, and I wouldn't want to deprive anybody else of that. But I also think it's wrong for these big corporations to be profiting off of him and off of this war. Now, I know I can't stop this, but I don't want to take part in it. This is my fight. It has been ever since my Aunt Raylene left me her patent in her will. Nicholas took it on because he knows how emotional I get. But it's not his job. It's your job to protect my right as an American citizen to do what I want with what I own. So I hope you let me do that. That's all I have to say. You've made a very convincing and compelling argument, and we're inclined to agree. The Equinox Defense Analysis and Construction Corp. henceforth will be barred from using your pet. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Wow. Oh, I never would have had the courage to speak up in there without you. Excuse me one second. Yeah. Hello, Nicholas Cassidy. Yes, yes. Uh, hello. She, actually, she's uh, she's uh, she's right here. One second. It's Alexis's friend, the guy who sent this meeting. Um. Uh, hi, this is Nadine Kral. Uh, yeah, actually, it went really well. Thanks. Ooh, someone in the White House wants to speak with me?